So today's my big day. I am about to go head back to Colorado without Rose. I got my backpack all packed and I'm about to head to the bus station so I can go to the airport. Today's gonna be a big, big, big adventure. So I just got back to Denver. I got in the car, I started it. It works good. So we are A-OK. -okay. It, uh, the transition fluid is full, so I just gotta take it to the shop in the morning. And we will see what's good with it. I'm not really sure what's gonna, I'm gonna be with the check engine light is on. So I just dropped off the van at Mancinelli's Auto Shop, and I'm in like, pretty close to downtown Denver. But I guess I'm just gonna walk around the city, maybe find a little coffee shop to hang out in, until I know what's going on, and probably need to get a hotel room tonight. So it turns out there's actually nothing wrong with the van. It just had some computer malfunctions with the gas thinking, cause it's like a flex fuel vehicle thinking that it had like higher octane or something than it did or higher alcohol. I don't know, something like that. But it's all fixed, but I rented a hotel room for the next two nights. And so now I'm having to figure out how to cancel that. I went to the hotel in downtown Denver. And so, I don't know, everything's changing. So I'm gonna get all disappointed whenever there's like changes. Like I'm like, oh, like I'm gonna be having the van not with me. I'm gonna be able to walk around. I'm gonna get a hotel right downtown Denver and like explore downtown. And even though like I should be happy because I'm saving money because I don't have to like pay to get a transmission fix or something like that. I'm still disappointed because I don't know. I'm just learning about myself that I'm just not very good with change. That's what this past month has taught me. I don't know about change. I just like, I'm not very good with like having a plan and then having the plan 180 degree change, you know? This is a good thing to know about myself, but I don't know. I wish I was a little bit more versatile and resilient when it comes to that stuff. But I guess that's something to work on. flat irons. These are going to be very icy trails coming down. folks. Past few days, I've just been kind of hanging out in Boulder. The car got fixed really easily and I've just been kind of like going to coffee shops applying for scholarships and getting ready for school. Um, I've been going on a lot of hikes. I'm in the middle of a hike right now. And Rose is showing up at the, on a flight at 6.30 night. So I'm about to go to the airport and pick her up when I'm done with this. So I just picked Rose up from the airport. We got her a hotel room and we got her her favorite 
Kane's fried chicken. And so right here, you can see that is her wound healing up. It looks pretty good, to be honest. She had a little boot over there on the floor. Out here at Beaver Creek, I have the Ava and I have the Leo. And the and the and the Riley. Um this mountain is awful. It's icy and I wanna go home now. Like my hair. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool, honestly. I fell and I hurt myself today. I landed right in my shoulder and made a little pop and it really hurt. So I'm not <laughs> using it. And you can see I have a sling. Um, I hope it's not anything serious. Update on my ankle. I've started walking, but it's still disturbingly swollen. Yeah, but it really doesn't look great. So let's hope for the best. The doctor said it looks beautiful, actually. True. As you can see, there's all these red spots on my legs. Leo hurt himself almost exactly where Rose did a month ago. He's about to get brought down. Are you right, Leo? Yeah. Can I take a video of you? So, how are you doing? My ass hurts. He hurt his tailbone. Okay, um, we're going to get rolling. We're going to get rolling. Alrighty. <laughs> be a couple spots i got to roll because it's flat down there. Yeah. Look his butt today, <laughs> but it's been storming a lot since. Yep. We got Riley out. here. <laughs> we got Ava. We got Dad talking to his sister. But uh, we're all just praying for Leo. For real. Hoping he's going to be okay. Yeah, I know. Such a bummer. But he has a broken butt. What did the guy say? But he, but it's okay. We call it? Oh, so he just an ass blaster? Yeah, Leo got an ass yeah, blaster. Yeah, an ass blaster. That's what the, the guy that saved him said. <laughs> It took him like 10 minutes and to get there, though. <laughs> I know. But we're praying for him. I think he's yep. going to be okay. Okay, so Leo broke his coccyx or something. What are, yeah, coccyx. And his tailbone. His tailbone. So we're going to pick him up right now. It's not good. Not no. good at all. That's what somebody told me when I thought I broke my tailbone. And they were like, you know, if you break your tailbone, not gonna do anything anyway so it doesn't matter yeah not really much you can do all right so as maybe you gathered from the footage before leo broke his tailbone on the same run that rose broke her ankle and so we're also going to pick leo up at the same place i picked up rose about a month ago so i guess this mountain has bad juju for our family i don't know what's going on Conditions, Ava. They're really good. Pretty amazing. Out uh, here with Riley and May. Well, there's Riley and Mays. It's been snowing like crazy all day. You want to go first, Ava, or May? Or
here at the Black Canyon National Park in Gunnison, or well, the Black, Black Canyon in Gunnison National Park, something like that. Like down there, pretty crazy. So I just climbed up here. There's this really old janky little standing area. And then back in here, So we're out here making a walking stick and I just started a fire and you can see it's a very, very beautiful background back here where we're staying. How lovely. So we're out here in the Bisty Badlands. Supposed to go down that way, there's like the road, but the, the bridge is washed out, so we need to find another way to get back out to like a camp spot somewhere over there. I'm gonna go adventure up in there. So over here, you can see we found some natural hot springs. We gotta go plop ourselves in there and soak. Look at that, it's so beautiful. Oh! People that were here before us said that this pool is a little bit warm. That one's not that warm, but the hot water is in that cave. So I'm about to go in that cave and soak. A little sunset dip. Yeah? In between those two rocks up here are my gloves. Can you get them?
chocolate frescas and the nachos and the Ooh, rose. And she burnt herself. <laughs> you see, this right here is how we got all the things in our stores. Look how many dang trucks there are on the road. Over here, too. Now, this is a traffic thing, but having them all piled up like this it makes you realize. What is the life? trucking industry is the booming industry. It's booming, I tell you. Straight booming. How would we have all the things we get in the stores without these trucks? See that? Because the trucker today. It literally goes on forever. Look at all those trucks. And look at all these trucks. Obviously there's some cars and some RVs, but it's mostly trucks. Kind of. Yeah, it's mostly trucks, I'd say. Pretty much. 